Ah, what a cool answer. Welcome back. And a big shocker, Jay Dong, who's known for being the master of the JVZ matchup, as it is called, with a near 90% win rate in it for a long time, is now down 0-2 to the newcomer, Biel, who is playing phenomenally. Yeah, definitely so. And I think Biel just knows Jay Dong's build so well and is punishing him a lot of times, but also has just well-constructed builds overall in this CVZ. You would think it's a very dry matchup, not a lot of innovation, yeah. but there's tons left, and we're seeing that right now. Let's hop into game number three, where once again we are at match point. Such a shocker. Down in the bottom right-hand corner. You may not have heard of him before today, but he is making an enormous impression on the scene as he ends up 2-0. Give a cheer for LGIM's Bio! And the big favorite right now was said to win the whole dang thing. Down 0-2, needs your support. It is Evil Genius, it's Jadong! And talk about balls of steel, man. How do you do this? Third game, possibly your elimination game, and you are looking to do an incredibly fast pool. This is, this is very dicey because, you know, there's, I'd almost say that in stressful tournament situation, there's a lot of cop-out builds where you're saying, I don't want to have to play extremely well. Things like going for a six pool, things like going hatch first and crossing your fingers and praying. But what Jadong's doing, which is a relatively fast pool, demands absolute precision with his control. This is an, a very confident opening from Jadong in this, in this very dicey spot. He needs to do damage. That's what it comes down to. And it, most of the time, it's going to be killing damage. But with Biel's micro, as he's been showing, I mean, I feel like Biel has what it takes to uh, to just defend against this properly, and he's gone for a very standard safe play, a 15 pull, 15 hatch. Now this is what's dicey for uh, Biel. I mean, we haven't even gotten the chance to see the mid game player, uh, mid game play from either of these players, mm -hmm. and it's because of tense spots like this. What's Jadong normally going to be doing? Applying a lot of lane pressure. So does Biel get his geyser? and then go Baneling? Does he go speed? It's such a tough decision because obviously speed is something you want for the long term. Baneling feels like something that you want right now, but we don't even see a single geyser for Bial. He's pulling drones. Perfect amount of drones too. Just He's gonna ha be able to just fend these Zerglings off. The Zergling count for Jadong will grow, but he oh. can't micro like this. He needs to be so careful with this. Bial able to isolate one of the Zerglings, but overmatched on the south oh, side. Oh, Jadong. Not quite controlling too well, is getting slightly better at the end of the trade, but has a lot of red life zerglings there. So, was that a successful holdoff for Biol? Do you think he's ahead from here? Um, I mean, this is what makes it so hard, is that it's not really a favor for either player, because Jadong had more minerals uh, being mined, because Biol pulled so many of those drones off. Again, those drone counts are very low, so five is a lot of drones in this early phase. And suddenly, Jadong has exploded forward to 18 workers. So what happens in Biel's shoes? He says, all right, I don't have a gas geyser yet. I have to go spine crawler to defend this. That's exactly what Jadong wants. And this is so cool. He actually adds on a uh, spine crawler, as you said, to defend against banelings, right? That's mm. the normal transition. Normally, it's this attack, and then there's a phase two of it somewhere or another where metabolic boost or banelings pop in and you can die. And normally it is banelings for this. They just, people oh, go all in. No. Wow, what a nice pickup by those drones. That is, that is incredible. That is so huge. Right now, Biel is at 19 drones, but is sort of off phase with mm -hmm. Jadong's pressure. So we see Biel has not yet gotten speed, has not yet gotten baneling nest, has made no commitment, no decision, but all of a sudden Jadong's gonna be able to explode forward. And even if just a pair of banelings get into that natural expansion, it can mean that Jadong will take a full lead. But can Jadong realistically do that? I mean, what can he really do with his speed advantage from here? I mean, this is a, a wide open natural, but is it really realistic to say, yes, I can get Zerglings into the main base? Uh, I think I think he can. I mean, once he gets speed done, he's going to have that opportunity to just bolt up into the main base, detect Roach play, see if the Baneling Nest has even been started at all. It's likely that it hasn't. Mm -hmm. And even, oh, these pushes at the front. What's PL doing in terms of defense? Nine Zerglings up, getting a few more Zerglings. I don't know. Well, seeing this one Baneling will kind of trigger Biel to say, wow, I have to be very careful because this can be so much pressure coming out of my opponent. Yeah. 
So I like what Jadong's doing. Will he just back up from here? He's going to show the Baneling, and he's purposely showing the Baneling. Yeah. But purposely. he's not going to connect it with anything of, of magnitude. That's a great point. He purposely shows a single Baneling, just to, enough to let Biel confirm Baneling tech. And how does Biel play out of this? Does he then say, uh-oh, I'm definitely getting attacked with a lot. It looks like he's not taking the bait at all. He's instantly going uh, for an extractor. Jadong has thrown down a layer of his own and two spine crawlers. So it looks like Jadong's definitely going to be backing off. Um, he hasn't it, it, seen the metabolic boost. He doesn't know what he's up against. It could yeah. be roaches like we saw in game number one. So I think he's just so shell-shocked from Buell's, uh just his build so far. Uh, but he's uh -oh. going to get in here and just verify exactly what, uh, what he's up against. And he's so not happy to see just a very healthy economy and nothing oh, yeah. too special. Those spine crawlers are there by much more inefficient. So in this spot now, if I'm in Yell's shoes, actually in both players' shoes, Mutalists are likely going to be the transition choice because with a low amount of drones, it's hard to get enough minerals mm. to throw down a, a large pack of roaches, but it's very easy to saturate four geysers, so yeah. uh, all the gas is going to be in the bank, and Mutalisks on this map work quite well, but look at the mini-map. Yell has almost all his overlords on the other side of the map. Yeah, kind of interesting, you know? Normally, they're scattered all over the place, but I guess there's only two major choke points where you're seeing what the army composition is, and from there, you're defending oh. against that. A nice pickup for Jadong. That will shut down any sort of aggression, or at least in Jadong's mind, it shuts down the aggression that Biel can potentially do, so he feels a lot safer to take his third base and say, okay, let's play a macro game. This is where I'm going to shine and show you how powerful my Dong is. Yeah, I mean, Jay is getting the good scout in here. Sees with the Overseer that there is no threats. So this is where both players flood nothing but Zerglings, both to defend these third bases, but also to try to deny the enemy's third bases. And we're seeing an almost perfect composition uh, by both these players. The exact right amount of Banelings at these various steps. And Jadong is so far ahead just with these little basic moves. Kind of crazy. And even using the spine crawlers to, well, the right effect. But now here's this, the Banelings and Zerk. Oh. To deny this. But the spine crawler, as soon as it gets planted, they'll say, no, no Banelings. Well, it looks like one pose oh. lands. Jadong slipping up a little bit. More Zerglings advancing. We will be able to fend this off, so the spine crawler helps instrumentally in this. And now the mutas are on the way out. Eight mutas for Jadong. He's going to clear up some overlords for us, then go for the main base. Third base is already being put down for his opponent, slightly behind. And we're going to see mutas upcoming as well. He has a thousand gas in the bank. See, that's uh -oh. one thing. Oh. Oh, denied. I mean, the fact that those eggs were a few seconds away from hatching definitely going to benefit Jadong a lot, and he would yeah. be more than happy picking up nothing but Zergling kills at this point in time. Both players obviously going to go straight for the uh, armor upgrade. Yeah. Normally you would say, oh, Jadong has the advantage because the Spire is so far ahead, but this isn't like conventional matchups. As long as you have the larva, you have the production. And if That's you've right. been mining, it doesn't matter if you're... 10 seconds behind, you will have the right muta count against your opponent. So it's not like Buell is terribly behind from this. He loses a yeah, couple of overlords, but he's fine. So in terms of transitioning out of this, what's the next step? There's not going to be one for a very long time. Mutalists and Zerglings and Banelings deal so much damage so quickly that this is a tactical game. This is about vision and positioning. This is Jadong's greatest strength. Look at the vision for Jadong. He's sweeping into the main base. Why? He sees that there are no threats advancing. He's going to pick up some free drone kills before he backs off. Spots on the map helping out so much for Jadong. That's how uh -oh. he's able to kind of substantiate his claim to attack. Uh, the almost surround is not going to happen as Buell doesn't want to take a, a little bit of a dicey fight there. Oh god, speaking of dicey, I mean, Freedorf, look at this mini-map vision for Buell. He is just locked in blind. Yeah, it's nothing. He's purely defending, and the problem is he's defending. He doesn't know where they're coming from. Now Muta swinging in between the natural and the third base, but the Muta attack oh, is no. going to commence. Who's going to have the advantage? It's hard to tell, but 13 against 10. Mutas uh, in favor of Jadong so far, just going to back up from there, but doing the damage he needs to, giving time for those Zerglings to clean up the drones and taking the advantage. Gosh, Jadong is 
surgical with these strikes. Breaking in, annihilating everything mining. Going to go for the third base strike round two. Does BL try to rebuild those drones? Of course not. Too many Zerglings swinging on in. And this is where Jadong takes the opportunity to get nice pickoffs on small packs of mutas. Overlords on the extremities. Jadong is more than happy to take any little edge because soon enough BL will crumble. Reinforcements will help out though, and Jadong needs to be careful. This can snowball out of control. Zerklings running into the main base. Things look good for Jadong, but he cannot get complacent. Yeah, right now Jadong is behind in Mutas by one. Zerklings from Jadong sweeping in. Bangling starting to get more Ooh. even up in the main base. Jadong, oh, if he manages to get those pickoffs, that will be tremendous. Yell is not going to let it happen. And I, I love the Banelings too. I mean, they're like Widow Mines. They force you to micromanage that situation. And it's only six minerals and six gas that you're wasting per Baneling. It's not that much. If they ever finish, boom, you're losing a lot of drones. I mean, it's 120 gas a minute per geyser. So the, every minute that Jadong keeps his opponent off mining is two and a half Mutalists. Jadong is now accepting Biel's counterattack gladly. The Mutalist count for Biel is tumbling. Biel has the Mutalist disadvantage, 17 to 13. Jadong darts forward, picking him off more and more, and it looks like Biel is on his last legs. Yes, he is losing every single Mutalist, trying to back up from here, but he knows G -G. it's over. Jadong will take game number three. Prevents the clean sweep. Yeah, really clean play in the initial stages. Think, some would say 15 pull, 15 hatch is like the hardest counter you could possibly have to what Jadong does, the early pools. And Jadong shows that he's completely fine. Still, Buell had the hatcher.